everybody, it's Amy from Bargain Beauty and I am here to go over a few freebies that I found at Dollar Tree that I cut up my coupons, I'm going to put them in my envelope and I'm going to have them ready in my purse because if you have not watched my last DT haul with coupons, I tell you guys in there it's definitely a hit or miss at Dollar Tree with coupons. Um, whether they have the item or they don't because every Dollar Tree is different. We all know that. And one day you could go in and they could not have the item. And the next time you go in, they definitely could. So what I do is I put together that envelope and I just keep them in my purse for just in case circumstances. I take a peek around the store and if they have the items available, great. If they don't, that's fine too. I don't get worked up about it or worry about it. It's kind of like a little game I play. If I get a bonus, I do. I kind of consider it like bonus items. I just want you guys never to get stressed out about couponing at Dollar Tree. And if you ever have any problems with a cashier at Dollar Tree, please remember it's a lack of training on, about coupons. It's not personal. They will sometimes get super flustered because they think they're going to get in trouble. That seems to be what they say a lot or what I hear a lot is being said. Um, my Dollar Tree, I've kind of trained them about coupons in the beginning it was really rough and now they know me they expect it the manager has explained to them a couple of times they're like different employees so now they're much more comfortable with coupons but in the beginning nobody was really couponing at my dollar tree like here and there but nothing crazy so now they're used to it they're more comfortable i think sometimes the attitude comes out of fear on their part i don't think they mean to be nasty to us but i think that they get nervous so just keep that in mind so if they get a little flustered the first couple times you use coupons at the dollar tree don't take it personal just realize it's a lack of training most of the time i mean sometimes you're just gonna have nasty people period but the majority of the time it's honestly just lack of training so i'm showing these inserts really quick so that you understand when i say red plum i only do insert coupons i do not do printables that is just a personal preference everybody can do what they want um there are a ton more deals that are free with printables but i just don't want to rebuy ink i have always have some kind of problem printing coupons for some reason from the laptop and i just i get flustered and I feel like couponing should be a positive experience. I don't want to fluster myself. So one, it's not cost effective for me. And two, I just like to make this as easy as possible for myself. So if you can print coupons and you don't get flustered, I, I, and, and God, there's millions of people that do, um, that's awesome. And I'm happy for you. And you should definitely look into getting even more freebies at the Dollar Tree. So when I reference things like Red Plum, that's the insert coupons. And on the binding like a book binding and you're not really going to be able to see this probably um you will see you can't see but there's a date so when i say red plum 1 1 2017 it's this insert and that date and how i do my coupons is by date um so it makes it super simple i just pull out the date easy there, the PNG came out this week. That's this one right here in the middle. So if I say PNG 1 1, that's this insert. And then we got two smart sources, just like we got two red plums this week. And I may say smart source um, and the date. So that is when I'm saying that, because there was a question last time when I did the DT haul, which was a great question. They're like, what's red plum and what's smart source? And if you're not used to insert coupons, I completely understand being a little bit confused. So you have names of the actual insert. It's Red Plum, PNG, and Smart Source. So that is what I'm referencing when I say RP or SS. SS is Smart Source. RP is Red Plum. PNG is just that PNG. So let's get into the little bit of freebies that I have going on this week. Well, not even this week. It can run longer than a week. But what I what I have found this week so far for Dollar Tree and freebies. So my first matchup is the Breathe Right Nasal Strips. If your store has the 10 count, there's a $2 off one from the Red Plum 1117. They need to adjust that coupon down. So if they say to you, no, we can't take that coupon, it's a $2 coupon, you can tell them that they just need to adjust it down, that it works perfectly fine once they adjust it. Um, it's off any product. So a 10 count is usually what the Dollar Tree carries. If they have a two count, you can use that as well. Sometimes you can find the two count at Walmart and you actually might make a teeny bit a little money on that um, product at Walmart my Walmart does not carry it I have looked but you can definitely try this at the Dollar Tree as well 
Okay, so I want to tell you about this Crest coupon. Now, this is not Dollar Tree, it's Walgreens, but you can get this toothpaste free at Walgreens this week. You get a $3 register reward when you buy three. It's $2.99 a piece. You purchase three of them, you use three coupons. That coupon is $2 off, so you're going to use three of those. Now, you can use this at the Dollar Tree. I have that scenario as well. $2 off one P&G. They have to adjust it down again, just so you guys keep that in mind. Now, you have to be very careful because they have specific ones that they exclude, so make sure you're not picking up any of the items that they exclude because they obviously cannot put that coupon through. This coupon expires pretty quickly at 1-14-2017, so if you want to use this coupon at Walgreens or Dollar Tree, make sure to get in there in the next two weeks. Okay, so we have the Vicks Allergy Relief Tablets, um, 20 count in my store, P&G from 1117, dollar off one, this is what the coupon looks like, it's off one Vicks product, excludes Sinex, VapoDrops, ZZ Quill, and Trial Travel Size. So in my store, this is what they carry, this is the coupon I can use, so if they have this item in your store, you will get a nice little freebie. And sorry about my handwriting, guys, but these just get thrown in an envelope, so it's not something super fancy. Maybe someday um, I'll have something super fancy, but right now I don't. Alka-Seltzer Plus from the Smart Source 1117. It's a $2 off. Will, again, have to be adjusted down. So this is what the coupon looks like. It's off any one Alka-Seltzer Plus product. So if your store carries the Alka-Seltzer, you are more than welcome to grab yourself a nice freebie, and this is really good this time of year. Okay, guys, I don't have this coupon because I've actually used it already at my Dollar Tree, but the Pedigree Dentistic Dog Treats, dollar off one. It's from the Red Plum 12.4. Even though I don't have the coupon to show you, I wanted to tell you guys about this. I have used this coupon on these treats, and they absolutely work. Another item that I've already used my coupon on, and there's actually an Ibotta rebate. I'm going to put my Ibotta link in the description box below. If you have not have signed up for Ibotta, if you sign up and use the app, the first time you redeem a rebate, you will get $10 back. So even if you redeem a rebate for $0.50, cents, as long as it's not a generic rebate that says any, you actually have to purchase a name brand product, you will get $10 back. So I will post my Ibotta link in the description box. It's super easy to use, guys. And I've only been using it a couple of months, and I've saved a couple hundred dollars um, in rebates getting them back. And then there's monthly bonuses that you can make on top of that. So anyway, I've already used all my coupons for this. The candy where there's original, a dollar off coupon from 11 13 16 so that's last year and that's in the smart source. And then you could submit if you purchase two of them for a dollar back in the Ibotta rebate. And my last item, and I have already used this as well, that's why I have no coupon to show you, the Culturel Immune Defense 10 count, $3 off one from the Red Plum 12.4. You also have the other option of the $3 off one from Red Plum 10.2. So if you have that product in your store, you have yourself another freebie. So I didn't want to overwhelm you and give you 50 freebies going on at um, Dollar Tree, and I didn't include the printables. I think this is a really good way to start off just doing a few items at a time so that you don't get overwhelmed and you don't overwhelm your cashier. So thank you guys so much for watching please um, subscribe if you haven't already give a big thumbs up and comment down below if you go to the Dollar Tree bye bye